Check them out everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Joey Austin, in today's video, we're gonna do some photo editing uh, using Lightroom. And we're gonna be using the free version, so anyone will have access to that. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything with the tools that you have to subscribe to get. So anything we're gonna do, you can do it yourself and you can create those as a preset. We talked about it in the previous videos, but I'm gonna show it again. It's just two clicks, so it doesn't hurt to show. So let's go to it. <music> Okay, so this is the first video, um, sorry. First picture, it's a picture that I took. Uh, it's a collection of Tom Ford uh, perfumes. And um, we're gonna do some editing. So right now, I mean, picture is fine. The color a little bit faded. So first thing we need to do is make it look straight. So as you guys can see, the box itself is not straight. Uh, unfortunately, we, that means we're gonna have to sacrifice this line, but there is, one fix that we can do that would make it look like or make it look a little bit better okay so done looks better already uh, first thing we need to do is increase the contrast and increase the blackness Maybe give it a little bit of shadow details. Okay, I'm gonna give it some lights. So far, so good. Let's see if we can make it a little bit faded. So we're gonna make the black a little bit faded. Okay. Next thing, let's do colors. Uh, so I usually like to give it a little bit of warmth to my pictures. Uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit of vibrance. And maybe we can enhance some of the colors. So let's go over, sorry, let's go over here, go to the green, make it look a little bit greenish. A bit of yellow, since it has like gold, and this is for the woods. Maybe we can make them look a little bit reddish. Okay, so next thing is effects. So we're gonna give it a little bit of texture, uh, maybe a little bit of clarity. Um, we're gonna experiment with it see if it's yeah maybe just a little bit with some feathering this way the focus goes to the center of the picture okay so over here the silver um we're gonna need to lower the highlight a bit okay maybe a little more contrast and for details, just to reduce any noise, um, best way to do that is to take the color noise reduction. Uh, this way, even if the picture still have noise, it would be the nice kind of noise. It's not the purple, pink uh, kind of noise. So this one, it doesn't hurt. Just raise it all the way up. This way, if there is any noise, it will be gone. Okay, so as you guys see, this purple, when you increase noise, it will blend in with the background and you will not see that noise or that discoloration. I usually like to do that when, because this one was shot by a phone. So with not enough light, sometimes you have to do that. 
Okay, so this is how the picture used to be. This is how it is now. Nice improvement. Okay, next picture. Uh, let me do a picture of Rubble sleeping, of course, like always. Um, and again, I like to start with lights. So first thing, give it a little bit of exposure to brighten the image so I can increase the bright, uh, sorry, the contrast. Once I increase the contrast, uh, if I want to get more details of the highlights in the back, uh, sorry, lower the highlight. Uh, as you can see, now we can see the floor. The highlight is high. We can barely see the details. So we're going to leave it like this. Shadows, not so much. And of course, since trouble is black, we're going to give it a little bit darker black. And next thing, I like to fade some black usually. So I go this to the middle and make this the rest of the line straight. So as you can see, more, but I just like put it a little bit like one third. Okay, we can go back to colors again, a little, little bit bluish. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of warmth just because that's how I like my pictures. I'm not gonna play with uh, colors. Colors looks fine to me. Uh, maybe I can take that blue in the back just so it won't be a distraction. So let's go and lower the blue. So now your eyes will not go to the blue in the background, it just the background. Okay. Next thing is effect. Uh, a little bit of clarity, a little bit of texture. So can you see this beautiful face and those hairs? Uh, we give it some vibrant, uh, sorry, some vignette. Um, this way it would, picture would be this way is direct you to the middle of the picture, which is where rubble is. Maybe with some little bit of um, cropping, something like this and Okay. There you go. Next picture. This is how it used to be. Now this is how it looks right now. Okay, so this picture, um, took this picture with one idea in mind. Uh, I wanted to take picture to make everything black. The only thing is my face is gonna be lit and maybe a little bit of the curls and the beard and that's it. So I'm gonna make everything else disappear. So let's take a look on how to make that happen. So first thing, a little bit of light. Um, lots of contrast push it all the way to the end uh, maybe lower the highlights and darken the shadows and then we're gonna make the black looks even darker well not like that but maybe have the way okay and now to the favorite part so we're gonna make it look really faded. Usually we don't push it that far, but for this picture, we'll have to this way, we'll only see uh, the reflection of the lights on the hair and on the beard. And we're gonna have to go to colors and take some colors out. We don't need green. Then blue. Okay. Now the background is completely black. Uh, the only thing is, is the neck. Um, let's see if we can. It's a little bit orange, so we're gonna take that down a little bit. 
now it looks a lot better already um, what's gonna make this one work the way we want it it's Venietta you got it so with Venietta all the way to the end now we got the picture we were looking for and with some cropping Done. there you go so this is how it used to look now this is how it looks right now so it does something to experiment with and like i said if you want to make that as a preset all you need to do is go to these three dots create preset and select uh, the group that uh, you save all your presets and let's give it a name uh, maybe so light okay there you go i hope you guys learned something from this video i hope you guys like it if you do please give us a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching see you in the next one